Hi guys! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na yung part 2 ng ating mini research kung saan isasolve natin yung mga measures of position. Okay, pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O pindutin na anak, wag yung dislike, okay? At syempre kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Ang bilis naman magsalita, excited magturo. Okay, for question number 2, let's have this one. Find... I'll find the third quartile, 72nd percentile, and 8th decile of the set of data. So, unahin natin si Q3. Okay, alam naman natin na ang formula for uh, solving uh, the third quartile, pero dapat ano ha, yung formula natin for group data. So, ito yung magiging formula natin. Now, ang K natin will be what? Del, uh, Quartile 3 to, ang K natin ay 3. Okay, palit lang ako ng ating color. So, Q3 yung kukunin natin. So, para ma-solve natin ito, kailangan natin munang kunin kung nasaan yung, kung anong class meron itong quartile 3 natin. So, para makuha yon, papalitan natin to. So, K is 3. Ilan lahat? I have 100 here. Kayo, 99 ata. Okay, divided by 4. So, you will have here 3 times 100 is 300 divided by 4. Diretso ko na. Ha? So, 300 divided by 4 is a 75. <laughs> 75. lang naman pala yun. Ano? Okay. So, ibig sabihin, hanapin ko, asan ba si pang 75? So, that we can have the lower boundary. Now, looking at the less than cumulative frequency, asan si 75? 70, kulang siya. So, nandito siya kay 84. Lagyan ko ng mark, ha? Ito ngayon ang ating Q3. Huwag kayong malilito. Oh, Q3 class. So, ang lower boundary natin, dahil nandito tayo, we have 29.5. Okay. And then, cumulative frequency before. So, bago mag-84, we have 70. And then, uh, frequency of our QK class or our Q3 class. An anong frequency niya? Ito yun. Ulit ha. Ito yung less than cumulative frequency niya. 70, tapos yung frequency niya talaga is 14. So, we have 14. And then, yung interval natin, diba? 3, 3, 4, 5, counting it, 3, 4, 5, you have 3. And then, substitute. So, we have here 29.5, okay? Plus, teka, nauna pa yung parenthesis bago mag plus. Wait. So, plus, KN over 4 is just simply 75 para hindi na maraming sinusulat. Minus 70 over 14. At yan na, CFB is 70 and then QKF is 14. And then yung interval natin is 3. Okay, 75 minus 70 is 5. Okay, diretso ko na. 5 divided by 14 is this one times 3. So, you have this one plus 29.5. Okay. So, the answer is 30. Nakita nyo ba? 30.57. 30.57. Ito ngayon ng ating Q3. Okay. Nagets ba or nagets? For sure, nagets yan. Now, let's go to the second given. Okay, so, ang kukunin natin ay P72 naman, ha? Percentile 72. Okay, or 72nd percentile. Okay, so, paano natin kukunin yan? Ang K natin will be, this is over 100 na, ha? Over 100 na yung formula natin kasi percentile na. So, ang K natin will be 72 times our N, which is 100. 
Okay, over 100. Ah, dali lang ng sa akin. So, this will be 72. Ngayon, hanapin ko, asan ba si 72? Anong class siya na bibilang? Looking at that, nandito pa rin siya. Okay? Kasi 70 and then 84. So, nandito siya. So, si P3 at si P72 na sa E isa silang class. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yan? Ano ngayon yung lower boundary natin? Siyempre, since nandito siya, ang lower boundary pa rin natin ay 29.5. Okay, napaswerte ah. So, we have here, ay sorry. So, we have here 29.5. Bakit nawala? Teka. Dapat siguro highlighter yung gamit ko. Okay, now, ano ngayon yung frequency below it? Below that class, that's also 70. And syempre, yung frequency niya, sorry, is 14. Ayan. So, ano ang interval natin? Still 3 kasi same lang naman sila. Okay, so let's uh, substitute. Ayan. So, we have KN. O, lower boundary muna tayo. Ang lower boundary natin ay 29.5 plus yung KN over 100 natin, eto na yan, ba 72. Okay, minus 70 over your frequency, which is 14 P, P, K, F. Okay, and then yung interval nyo will be 3. O, let's solve. Calculator. Oh, let's try, ha? 72 minus 70 is simply 2. Divided by 14. Okay, that's a 0 0.14. Times 3. Okay, so we have here 0 0.43. Kung i-round off natin, di ba? Plus 29.5. And that will be 29.92. Pero del 8 yung katabi niya, 93. So, 29.93. So, you will have here 29.93 as our P72. Oh, ayun lang, ganun lang siya. Ha? Okay, now let's have for the third measure of position. Okay, so yung pangatlo natin is D8, decil 8. Ha? Oh, sige, let's see. Okay, let me have my pen first. So, dahil D8 tayo... O, oh, itong over natin, hindi na 100. Ano na siya? Over 10 na siya. Okay? So, over 10, over... Sorry. <laughs> Pangit ba? Wait. Alam niyo naman yung sulat ni Ma'am, parang ano, calligraphy talagang ano, social. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> mo maintindihan. Ay, naiintindihan niya na. Okay, so we have D10. Nanapin muna natin kung nasaan yan. Uh, nasa anong class ba siya? So, K, N over 8. So, ang K natin ay... D na to, D, K. Ay, 8, ha? Okay, so you have 8 times 100 over 10. O, ito madali lang to. So... Uh, cancel lang to, mapupunta dito si 10, so you have 80. Galing naman na sakto na nasa iisang klase sila. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang ating D8 ay nandito rin. Kung nasaan si Q3, Q3, si Q3 ko, si P72 ko, saka si D8, nasa iisang klase sila. Which means, ang class interval din nito ay 29.5, okay? Ang ating interval is still 3. Ang um, less than cumulative frequency natin below is 70. And then, ang frequency ko ay 14. Okay. So, let's solve. We have here 29.5 plus this one is 80 minus 70 over 14 times 3. Nakakabisado nyo na ba, mga anak ko? Comment nga. Okay. So, we have here 20. I know. That's not 29 first. 80 minus 70. 80 minus 70, nasa parenthesis muna, ha? You have 10 divided by 14, okay? And then, multiplied by 3, okay? Plus 29.5, and we have 31, asan yun? 31.64. 31.64. Thirty-one point sixty-four as our 
DESEL 8 or D8. O, ayan na yung number 3 natin, ha? Now, let's go to number 4. Ang question sa number 4, ano, ah, sa number 3, ayun pala yung number 2, ito yung number 3. What is the percentile rank of Dennis and Christine? So, isusolve natin anong percentile rank nila. And to get the percentile rank, you have this formula, PR is equal to 100N times yung P, kung ano man yung given nila, minus the lower boundary, over I, and then the frequency of that P plus uh, the less than cumulative frequency of P. Okay, so let's try. Ayan, nilagay ko na siya dito para hindi na tayo taas baba, taas baba, ha? Okay, so let's have this one. Ito yung formula natin. Hanapin muna natin yung percentile, percentile rank ni Dennis, ha? Si Dennis daw ay 30 ang na-score niya. So, asa yung pang 30 eto? So, dito tayo titingin. Ayan, dyan. Okay, let's see. So, yung PR natin is equal to 100 over ilan lahat kayo, ha? Ilan lahat ng estudyante dyan? Sa akin, 100, diba? Hindi ko alam bakit nagkulang to ng zero. Ayan, 100. Kasi yan yung total nila. Lahat-lahat. Okay, so, ako, 100 over 100. Kayo atay, 100 over 99. Tama ba? Ewan ko kung ano sa inyo. O, ayan. Basta same procedure lang tayo, ha? Okay, imumultiply natin dyan with P. At yung P natin, eto yon yung given. Okay, so, 30 minus yung lower boundary natin, eto yon. O, kung markahan nyo kung nasa anong class kayo, tas yun lang din naman yung pagbabasihan nyo. Okay, so, we have 29.5. And then, yung frequency nun, FP, natatandaan ito, ang frequency niyan ay 14. Okay? Over yung interval nyo na 3. Plus, yung less than cumulative frequency, below. So, kung yan yan, you'll have your 70. Ito yung frequency, and then below. Ha, laging ganun. 70, and then, you have this one. 100 divided by 100 is simply 1. 1 lang naman yan. Okay, and then let's have this one. So, you have here uh, 30 minus 29.5 equals that one times 14. Okay, and then divided by 3, you have this one plus 70. Okay, so you have your 72.33. Okay, so 1 times 72.33 is simply 72.33 lang. Pero kung hindi 1 yung nakalagay nyo dito, syempre hindi 1 ang imumultiply ninyo, ha? So the percentile rank of Dennis is 72.33. How about Christine? Okay, tingnan nga natin, kasha ba dito? Pagkasyay natin, ha? Si Christine naman ay, ano siya? 20, 26. Asan si 26? O, nandito siya. Okay. Dennis to, ha? Dennis. Okay. So, si Christine naman, o, lagay ko dito, Christine. Okay. PR is equal to 100 over 100 din. Kasi yung N ko ay 100. Okay, times, yung P niya, P niya ay 26 minus, ano yung lower boundary niya? Sa 26, 23.5. Sorry, 23.5 times, yung frequency niya, okay, that's 11. Okay, times 11, over 3 pa rin naman yung interval natin, hindi nagbabago. Tapos yung below niya is 39. So, plus 39. Kita ba, pa ba dyan? Okay, so you have 1 times, oh, let's see this one, 26 minus 23.5. 26 minus 23.5 equals times 11 equals divided by 3 equals, okay, plus, aha, ilan to? 39. Alam, mababa si Christine. So, we have here, 48, ilan to? 48.17. Times 1 is still 48.17. 
Ayan yung kay Chris. Okay, to continue, tandaan ha, ang percentile rank ni Dennis ay 72.33. I-round off na natin siya, 72. Okay, and then si Christine, 48.17, so 48. Pero pwede naman hindi nyo i-round off, pero ako i-round off ko na para mas mabili dun sa internet. Mas mabilis dun sa interpretation ko. So, paano natin siya i-interpret? The percentile, kasi nakalagay dito, what is the percentile rank of Dennis and Christine? So, the percentile rank of Dennis is 72%. Or, Dennis score falls on the 72% of the class who got the grade less than 30. So, merong 72% of the class ang naging grade Ulit, 72% of the class, ang grade nila ay mas mababa or equal dun sa 30. Okay? Well, the percentile rank of Christine is 48% or Christine's score falls on the 48% of the class who got grade of less than or equal to 26. Okay? So, yung naging percentile rank nila ay medyo mababa or mas mababa dun sa ine-expect natin na 90 top 10%. So dapat ang percentile lang rank nila ay uh, mga 91, 92. So anong masasabi natin dito? Based on the per their percentile or percentile ranks and percentile ranks, will Dennis and Christine receive a scholarship? Explain your answer. No, why? Because the scores of Dennis and Christine <laughs> Wait, may score na pala doon. No, because the scores of Dennis and Christine fall below the requirement of the scholarship. Medyo mababa kasi siya. Hindi siya top 10%. Kaya hindi nila makukuha yung scholarship. Kaya kayo strive hard mga anak ko pag may mga exam na ganyan, galingan ninyo. Kasi it will make you your future. Kasi magkaka-scholarship kayo, di ba? Mas maganda kasi yung maging scholar. Pero kung hindi naman, kung may pamba-aral naman, okay. Pero mas maganda pa rin na mag-aral ng mabuti. Okay? So, I'll try to make an example of uh, mini-research. Ha, tingnan ko lang kung makakaya kong gawan. Antayin nyo. Okay, but for this video, eto na tapos na to, kaya mag-iwan kayo ng inyong mga comment dito ha, mga anak, please. O, oh, ayan ha, kasi kailangan ko yon para maapang video na ito at makita rin naman siya ng iba. Kaya wag nang tamad, mag-comment na ng thank you dyan. Okay, at laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!